So for lunch, we're going to make some pita pizzas. So here I have a whole wheat pita. I'm just gonna take the pita and place it on this plate. And we're gonna use our pasta sauce to add this sauce. So we're gonna use two tablespoons of pasta sauce. Again, this recipe is totally customizable. So if you want more sauce, feel free to add it. And just spread out our sauce. This pizza is gonna to be totally vegetarian. Um, you can make it vegan by switching your cheese. So I am gonna be using some Parmesan cheese for this pizza, but you can opt out of the Parmesan cheese and use like Daya cheese or any other cheese substitute that you want if you'd like to make this a vegan recipe. I'm just going to sprinkle like a fourth of a cup of cheese. I'm also gonna add some mushrooms. So again, this is where the customizable part really comes in. Add whatever kind of vegetables you like. I love mushrooms, so I'm gonna add those. We're gonna do about a fourth a cup of mushrooms. Just place that all in your pizza. I like fresh herbs, and this is where you can really get creative. Um, if you have access to basil, fresh basil, you can add that to your pizza. I have some cilantro. I'm going to just add some fresh cilantro and just kind of tear that on top of my pizza. I'm going to add some chopped bell peppers. I'm also going to add some tomatoes to the pizza. And lastly, I have some white onion. I'm just going to add that to the pizza next. Our pizza is just about all set. To top it off, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder on top of my vegetables for added flavor. I like a lot of garlic powder. <laughs> and then just for some added spice, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cayenne. This is totally optional. If you do not like spicy food, feel free to omit the cayenne pepper. Finally, I'm going to add pineapple. I like pineapple on my pizza. I know this is a totally debatable subject. If you don't like pineapple, feel free to omit the pineapple from your pizza. My pizza's all set. I'm just gonna transfer it over to a baking sheet and then we're gonna throw this in the oven also. So, as I mentioned, this is one of those totally customizable recipes. If you like spinach, feel free to add spinach to your pizza. If you like um, broccoli, like I do, I love broccoli on my pizza, you can add that to your pizza as well. If you don't like broccoli, feel free to admit it. But this again is a recipe that you can make it your own. Customize it and make it something that you really love. 